All right, folks, and we're back. So we've got this charger off. There's a few more things I like to take off before I put them on the stand. This particular T has been blessed with a, dare I say, water pump. Boy, that'll get, get you kicked out of a Model T for them faster. I don't know why. Everybody's got their own opinion. To me, uh oh, it's going to make an opinion. I'm going to say it's just a band aid. Band aid for either plug holes in the block, steam holes, bad radiator, ignition timing that you don't know how to set to run. So she gets hot. It's the only thing I do agree with. Boy, here I'll stir up another new bunch of calamity. Because if you do run a water pump, you should run a thermostat. One kind of has to go with the other. My theory is, why not fix what's wrong and have less parts? All right. So here's the water pump. Hey, it's not frozen. I don't think it's got. Whoa, that's Mickey. But somebody might enjoy that, so we're not going to throw it in the scrap bin. We'll clean it up. Probably put it on flea bay or marketplace. There you go. Alright, so that engine mounting bracket will bolt here and then a couple of strategic fan bolts, which I wish I could remember which two. Anyway, the other thing I'd like to take off is the fan or the water neck, and this happens to have the kind of rare 26 oh, style. Okay, so these here are a little tight. Yes, I could spray them with whatever stinky ass goo to make a mess. To be honest. I think it makes a person just feel warm and fuzzy sometimes. Modern cars use it a lot. But this water outlet is the kind that holds the fan. This is not the early version, which came out in late 25. It actually had an adjusting bolt on the bottom, which my personal car has. Yeah, this one here, sadly, like most, is broken. Oh, see in there? It's had old time fixes down there too. Been brazed. There and there. So, good fan hub though. Good eccentric. Bushings are shot, but that's no big deal. But, this piece here probably outlived its usefulness. So we're going to go put it over here. Came out of a chassis, believe it or not. I bought right in the right in the city of Milwaukee. Headed back down a long alley and uh, load her up. Guy was building hot rods, and I bought the whole chassis from him. So. so so far so good. All right, here we go. Welcome back. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to get brave. Yeah, I don't know what I did with my knee saver, but we don't get on our knees near as much due to the thing being on the stand. So this engine has been outside, so I would assume there's a lot of water in here. Um, maybe not at all, maybe it rusts out. Um, 
So here we go, this is a 15 sixteenths wrench. Oil drain plug. And we'll see what goodness comes on out. Well, look at there. Dust and rust. So the oil pan. Either the engine light just right or it's kind of old. That's anywho. So at least we know it's dry. That might be a bad thing. But hey, we don't know. It's just like surgery. Yes, I'm just going to put that in so I don't lose it. We don't know what we got. Can you get in there? Alright, so I'm going to move you guys so that you can see. We're gonna... So that was anticlimactic. Let's uh, take you guys around here. Let's work on taking some more stuff off here. There, I guess you guys can see now. So let's work on taking off these two brackets. We're going to cheat a little bit, use some air tools. Yeah, they didn't have them in the day. But work harder. No, that's wrong. Work smarter, not harder. Now we will need these two straps to make our 26 TT to be authentic. Plus, it has original bolts, which is nice. So, what we're going to work on next. Digging out some of these bolt holes. Get this hog's head off from here. Oh, goodness. 